This is the basic setup of the thresher. It just has flails that are on these little open links. We have experimented with a couple different kinds of flails. The bike spoke works very well for uh, beans because it doesn't break the, the bean seeds. We've also experimented when something like beans are a little greener with a bit of plastic chain. Metal chain would be for hard seeded crops that need to be hit very hard. The idea is that you can change flails pretty easily so when you switch crops it doesn't take too much time. There's a screen and uh, it just slides into a slot like that and it gets wedged in with a wooden wedge so it doesn't slip out. You want to use the smallest screen that will admit the uh, seeds through but exclude all the bits of crop fiber. Somebody who builds this machine is going to figure out what the absolute best scalping screen is for rye and then tell the rest of us. You want the whole interior volume of the thresher occupied by flails. But for maintenance and construction purposes, you need to be able to get the shaft out. Removing the shaft requires a little section of the interior of the thresher, which doesn't have flails on it, because you've got to be able to slide it. To compensate for that, a slant causes stuff to fall down back into the threshers. Also, the flails are arranged somewhat in a spiral so that they um, beat the air and create a little airflow. When you're pedaling forward, there's a little bit of airflow going this way. If you crack the windows, it, act it helps. That tends to suck the grain into the flail zone. The shaft is just a piece of three-quarter inch black gas pipe. These pillow block bearings on either side are the right inside diameter for the outside diameter of regular three-quarter inch pipe. Three-quarter inch pipe is great for a couple reasons. It's dirt cheap. It wobbles a little bit, which actually is good for the action of the thresher because at the speeds we turn it, the wobbling shakes everything, shakes the seeds down, shakes the plant material up so that it gets hit by the flails again. The last reason that the three-quarter inch pipe is good is that we can attach fairly well-centered plumbing fittings to it to adapt the three-quarter pipe to a regular 5 8 ID V-belt pulley. This is a bell reducer and a bushing and a piece of pipe. And that keeps everything centered without needing to turn any parts on the lathe. And it's not exactly centered, but it's centered enough. Why use a V-belt for driving this shaft rather than use bike chain? Because this thing wobbles a lot and shakes and the RPMs are higher than on the other machines, it's really hard to keep a bike chain uh, from derailing, although um, there's going to be plenty of people who watch this video who will be able to do that, no problem with, you know, little tensioning idlers and uh, more careful construction. Uh, so that's, uh, that's an option. Any extra cycle with a flywheel will work great on this machine. You want as big a gear reduction as possible to put store energy in the flywheel. And then if you need some small gear reduction in the other direction, you can do it between the flywheel and the actual shaft. There's a couple other possible ways that this machine can be operated. If you uh, had a crop like rye that you harvested with a sickle so that the um, heads were all, you could put a hopper here and someone could feed the rye in here and the finished um, husks get blown out at the other end. You can also put a gradation of flails so that the first flail that hits the heads is is weaker, like plastic chain, and then the later flails get progressively harder so that seeds that are holding onto the head very tightly get hit out later, and seeds that are holding on loosely wouldn't get broken. Mm -hmm. If you were doing the pass-through method, a uh, continuous method, then you might want to put more than one flail on each hook. Mm -hmm. and the one other possible mode of use, which unfortunately we haven't had a chance to test, is if you get a uh, rice or wheat or rye that's uh, harvested with a grain cradle and is in bundles. Then you'd open this window, concentrate a bunch of flails right there on the shaft and someone would just hold the sheaves head first into the thresher till they were de-seeded. It's very easy to know if the thing's working right. You just run it. If you're getting seeds out the bottom, it's working. And when you're done, you can inspect your seed husks. And if you don't find any seeds, then the thresher is working beautifully.